Hey everybody, Luke here, and today we're starting a new uh, blog series where we're going to talk about neck pain and headaches. And this is something I've been wanting to talk to you guys about for a long time just because it's very common. It's one of the most common things that we see here at Gordon Physical Therapy behind things like lower back pain and shoulder pain. And the reason I, I think in my opinion that it's so common, and I'm going to talk about this to you today in the video with, with these postural type of headaches, is just like I said, it's just postural basically. So that's the most common type of headache that we see in the clinic is where you get the pain and the tension up towards the upper part of your neck and the base of your skull. And um, for a lot of people, and I get these from time to time too, so um, I kind of commiserate a little bit with some of you. But so for a lot of folks, that pain starts right here at the base of your skull and it gets really tight and a lot of tension there. And then as that builds, you end up getting the headache more like up around the top of your head, sometimes behind your eyes. And so when it comes to headaches, so I want to back off just for a second. There's a lot of things that contribute to headaches. And this is, again, just the most common thing that we see in the clinic that we treat with physical therapy. But there's going to be a number of things that contribute to headaches um, throughout your life. Things like uh, certain triggers for you, things like certain foods or smells, um, stress, lack of sleep. There's a lot of these little factors, so I don't want you to overlook those. But again, I do want to focus on something that's more directly in my realm of physical therapy that we treat people for. So let's talk then about this type of headache and what causes it. Again, I mentioned posture. To be a little more specific, it's poor posture. So if you look at me from the side here, poor posture is basically um, when your head tends to go forward like that. So your low back and your mid back slouch down. I don't know how well you can see me here, but it slouches down. And then in order to, to look forward, you bring your head up that way. This is super common for people who are sitting all day, or even if you're sitting for short periods, you tend to slouch with the low back, and then you get that forward posture of your head. What happens there, if I can show you the spine, is that if you look at your back, let's go from the bottom up. I don't have the best view here, sorry. but. From the bottom of your spine here, in your lumbar spine we call it, you've got basically a backwards bend. So your back bends backwards. At your mid back, so right here, you can see this forwards bend. Then you're transitioning up into your neck, and your neck actually has two curves or bends in it. The lower part of your neck, as you can see here, is bending forward, and the upper part of your neck is going to bend backwards. What happens with your forward head posture, which you want to avoid, is that the bottom curve bends forward even farther, and the top curve to compensate bends even farther backwards in this direction. So again, it's that forward head posture uh, that we want to avoid. What happens then and why you get so much pain and tension at the base of your skull is that right here at the base of your skull, you've got, we call these your suboccipital muscles. So running through there, you've got several short muscles that are connecting from the base of your skull, which goes into the fascia around your skull, and those are connecting down to your first couple vertebrae or your neck bones here. Also running through there, you can see you've got some nerves and you've got some blood vessels. So what happens then with these postural types of headaches is you get a ton of tension right in those muscles, and the muscles themselves are hurting, but then you're also getting pressure onto those nerves, and that's when you really start to get headaches. Over time, these can also be associated with stiffness in the joints. You know, over time, people with neck pain tend to get real stiff. Side bending is a really common one where you just can't side bend very, uh, very well. So what we do then with physical therapy is we improve that flexibility of the spine and we also um, we take away that tension in the base of your skull and for most of our folks with with these types of suboccipital if you will headaches it's very very effective combine that in with corrective stretches and changing things with your posture any of those other things that I mentioned earlier specific triggers and we've got a really good success rate with headaches so that's your basic introduction to that type of a postural type of a headache and just a couple quick tips then that makes sense now that you kind of know the cause of the headaches. Um, first off, addressing some sitting posture if you can. And I'll go into more detail in some future videos, but making sure that if you are sitting for prolonged periods throughout the day that you've got good back support and that you're able to be upright in a pretty neutral posture and that you're able to you know, complete your work from there. This gets into things like ergonomics, uh, making sure you have the correct you know, height of your chair and your computer monitor and all those things, which we can go into at a later date as well. So correcting your sitting posture is a huge one. And then when you're standing, just to do a couple corrective type techniques to correct your posture, one of the most common things you can do is just pull those shoulder blades back, squeeze them out, squeeze them together, because as you get into this forward posture, everything along the front here into your chest and the front of your shoulders is going to tend to tighten. So just gently pull your shoulders back and squeeze them you know, five or ten times throughout the day. The other thing you can do is called a chin tuck. And so if you take that forward head posture, show you again from the side, 
where your posture is here. A chin tuck will be the exact opposite, so you're going to reverse that strain you've been causing. So you're going to go up right here, and then you're going to pull your head straight back, just like that just like it's on a shelf so like it's on a sliding shelf a lot of people say you know do it like a chicken or give yourself a double chin so you're not going up and you're not going down you're just going straight back hold that for a few seconds if you're already dealing with a lot of neck pain or headaches you just want to do these of course to your tolerance because sometimes that chin tuck can be a little bit uncomfortable as you're trying to reverse those curves so again that's your introduction to those posture types of headaches i'm going to create a couple more videos here shortly about what you can do in terms of stretching it and then i'll give you some other ideas in terms of what we can do with our hands-on treatment techniques so that's all for this video thanks for watching and stay tuned for more if you have questions please um, Either email me directly with the, the email that I'll put below in the, in the video comments or just go ahead and leave a comment on the video and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.